So in this video, I'm going to quickly walk through creating a new run book. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'll just call it IT Pro. And then within that folder, I'll create a new run book. So I see a new tab for my run book. Here I can right click and do rename. I have to check it out. Before you can make any changes, you have to check out the run book. I'm just going to call it new user. Now I'm going to actually want to interact with the Active Directory. And you can see I've already got the Active Directory activity available to me. I can pop that out. But the first thing you have to do for some of the integration packs is basically create a configuration, i.e. a certain connection to whatever product or service I'm talking to. So in this case, Active Directory. So under my options, I see Active Directory. That's that new integration pack. And I have to add a configuration. So I'm just going to call this SavileTech.net. So it's my lab domain at home. It's an Active Directory domain configuration. And then just fill in my properties. So for example, administrator, a password, a domain controller. So SavDAL DC01. And then a default container where maybe it's going to actually go and create objects. So maybe in my case, I might say OU equals testing, DC equals Savile Tech, comma DC equals net. So now I have a configuration for Active Directory. So I want to create a new user. Now one of the good things I can do is in my runbook control, I can have an initialized data. So I'm going to just select it from runbook control and drag it onto my canvas. Within here, I can add certain details I want. So I can say parameter one, for example, might be the common name of that new user I'm going to create. I could say I also want first name or given name in Active Directory terms. I might say I also want surname. So I'm going to allow these three bits of data and I could add anything I want in here. But I'm just going to say finish that. Now in my Active Directory, I'm going to say create user. And I'm going to create a link so I see the arrow, it turns into a cross and I drag it over to create user. And then double click here, I'm going to select my configuration. And it's asking me for the properties. So the one thing I have to have is common name. If I right click in this box, I can subscribe to my data bus. So remember, I've already published data from that initialized data activity. So I'm going to say, well, okay, that's the common name. That's mandatory. I have to have that. I can also say optional parameters. So for example, here I can say last name and first name. So I'll add first name, I'll add last name. So my first name is that from initialized data. And my last name is the surname. So they're going to create the user. And then I want to enable that user. So I'm going to drag the enable user and then drag a link from there to there. I can actually look at the properties of that and say only if it returns success does it perform this action. I can give it a name so I could change that to success. I can make it a different color. So I'll, well, success, I'll make green. So I can now see green. Under my options, I can do show link labels. So it actually shows me, okay, that success. I could give this a name. And obviously you can do a lot more things, but that's basically the way this works. I've created a run book and I've created some actions. I could have a failure arrow coming off here, maybe perform some log. And then with that, I can say, I can check it back in. And I could even test it through the runbook tester. So it actually is going to check it out again to do the testing. And I can say run. So it's going to allow me to type in these things. So I'm going to say bunny bugs. And his name can be bugs bunny. 
So you can see it did the initialize, it's now doing the start, but then the enable user failed. So if I look at that, you must have a valid configuration. So what I did is I dragged it on, but I never did anything with that. So I'll stop this, and obviously what I need to do in here is select the Active Directory configuration. The distinguished name, I'm actually now gonna subscribe the published data from the create user. And I'll actually just take that distinguished name that would have already got created in the previous step. Now I'll run it again, but first, if I do a refresh, that user actually already got created, but notice it's disabled. So I'm gonna delete that user. I'll jump back, we'll run it again. Surname is Bunny, Bugs, Bugs Bunny. So it initialized, it's gonna create the user, then it's gonna pass that to the enable user. So that was successful. If I close that down, I can check that back in. And now what I'll see is an enabled user called Bugs Bunny. And that was it. And I'll see all those properties I set, Bugs Bunny. So that's just a really easy, quick example of creating a new run book using the Active Directory integration pack. And that's how easy it is, no coding. I'm just dragging and dropping activities onto my canvas. And that concludes this video.